Well, hello, my friend. It's been a little while. And let me tell you something. I am so fired up that um, we had this opportunity to talk again. So it's been part of this plan. I'm a part of what's called a 14-day challenge. And uh, what I've been doing since we last talked is I've been working on putting together material that I wanted to share with you that would really add value to your life. And so today is the first day of that 14-day challenge. I encourage you to join with me over the 14 days. i got some good stuff I've been ooh, just bursting to tell you about and share with you. And uh, now we can do that. So today's topic is the one thing, the unwanted thing that you should have in common with everyone who's a successful person. And, you know, this kind of came up today because a friend of mine, business partner, was uh, helping someone, reaching out to him, um, offering to help them with some of the goals that they had in their life. And rather than take that help in a right spirit, this person then turned around and tried to make fun of them because they were reaching out and helping them. And it kind of made me think about it. And it's like, you know what? One thing that all successful people have are haters. Haters, man. Haters, haters, haters. As a matter of fact, if you want a, a remedy to never have another hater, then your only remedy, hey Angie, is to do nothing, to be nothing, to have nothing. Because if you fall in the category where you have something, or you're about to be something, or you're trying to do something, I guarantee you, you're going to have haters. Mother Teresa had haters. You know, anyone that you can count on has haters. So don't shirk away because you have haters. Don't question yourself because you have haters. But use that haterade as a reminder, as a thought process, hey, Mark, that you do have something going on. Now, you might say, well, why would a person even bother to be a hater? Well, I'll tell you, there's two reasons. It kind of falls to the two ends of the spectrum. You're going to have people on one side that hate you because you're trying to go and do something more. I talk about these people as being like crabs in a barrel. They see you reaching out there, and they want to pull you back in. Well, those are those kind of haters. And then you got the kind of haters who might even be disguised as loved ones. You mean a loved one could be a hater? Yes. And why would a loved one be a hater? Because with you striving to do more and to be more, you are showing them that they could do it too. If perhaps they were willing to get off the couch, if perhaps they were willing to get out of their comfort zone, if perhaps they were willing to take their eyes off themselves and put them on other people to create and reach goals. And you're reminding them of that because you're out there making it happen for yourself. So, Two ends of the spectrum. It could be a stranger who doesn't want to see you succeed. It could be a loved one who doesn't want to see you succeed, but they fall into that realm of being haters. So don't let the hater aid get to you. Just drink it. Just throw it off you. Just know that the reason why haters will emerge is because they see you going somewhere. And don't let that stop you because you are on a mission to make things happen and make life better for other folks. Stay with that mission. Don't let the haters get to you. Now, you know, this is a real good time to be in your house chilling. Hey, Russ, this is a good time to be in your house chilling and not necessarily out and about. So when I talk about those five books that you should be reading, I, I want you to get a hold of that list. I want you to get a hold of that list. Now, listen to me. Facebook Messenger did a number on me a couple of weeks ago. And if you've already sent me a request to know what those five books are by Facebook private message, I may have lost it because they did some type of update or something and it lost a lot of my history. So if you've already asked me for that list of five books that every person who's trying to go somewhere should be reading, if I didn't give you that list, please ask again. I want to get that to you because I believe it will bless you. And like I said, right now is a time to not be out there, but out being home, chilling, reading, growing your mind so your mind can fill your pockets. You know what they say, readers are leaders. So 
if you inbox me, I'll tell you the top five books you should be reading right now. The list is growing because I'm always reading new books. It's growing from the standpoint that sometimes a book gets knocked off because a better one comes to the table. So send me an inbox message. Say, I want those that top five list, and I will get it to you. Have a blessed day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.